Hello, and welcome out there in Cindy's Corner. If you've got the book, Amelia Bedelia, on the move, go get it so you can read along. If you don't, you're going to like this book. This is a level 2-7 book for my testers. Now, have you ever had to move or did move? Was it mud proof? Let's see what Amelia Bedelia's house looks like. Amelia Bedelia on the move. Author is Herman Parrish, and the illustrator is Lynn Avril. It's our title page. Amelia Bedelia loved to ride around town with her parents. It was fun to wonder what was inside of other people's houses. Where are we going today? Asked Amelia Bedelia. We are house hunting, said Amelia Bedelia's father. Amelia Bedelia looked out the wind, her window. The houses are not hiding, she said. I see one, two, three, four. Hunting houses is easy. <laughs> it's really house hunting. We are looking for houses that are for sale, said Amelia Bedelia's mother. Look at that pretty two-door house. Our, it says for sale. Our house has two doors, said Amelia Bedelia. We have a front door and a back door and a garage door, said her father. That's right, said Amelia Bedelia. We live in a three-door house. A two-door style house looks like an English home in the Middle Ages, explained Amelia Bedelia's mother. There were many kings and queens in the Tudor family, said her father. Let's look for a colonial house, said Amelia Bedelia's father. Colonial style homes have been popular since the American Revolution, said Amelia Bedelia's mother. Hey, look, said Amelia, Amelia Bedelia's mother. That ranch is having an open house. Let's go in, said her father. Hooray, said Amelia Bedelia. I love horses. It's an open house. Is it really horses? During the holidays, Amelia Bedelia's parents always had an open house party. Friends and neighbors were free to stop by any time. It didn't look as though there was a party here. The house was quiet. Are we the first ones, said Amelia Bedelia? Open house. A little different than what they have, isn't it? Mm -hmm. The front door swung wide open. Welcome home, said a smiling woman with a name tag marked Jill. Oh, I don't live here, said Amelia Bedelia. I live at my house. We came to look at your house. Well, Come right in, said Jill. Jill gave Amelia Bedelia a piece of paper. Here are some facts about the house, she said, but I'm not the owner. I'm an agent. Right here. Hi, I'm Jill, your real estate agent. Let me find the perfect home for you. Three bedrooms, one and a half baths, hardwood floors, 
and full finished basement on one acre. Amelia Bedelia whispered in her mother's ear. Her mother smiled and said, no, sweetie, Jill is not a spy. Not all agents are secret agents. Let me show you around, said Jill. What are you looking for? We are running out of room, said Amelia Bedelia's mother. We need about 600 more square feet, said her father. Amelia Bedelia knew her father had two flat feet. Why did he want so many square ones? Square. Two times 300 square feet. Let's go upstairs, said Amelia Bedelia. I want to pick out my bedroom. A ranch-style house does not have an upstairs, said her father. A ranch house is built like a house on a ranch out west. So, where do we sleep? asked Amelia Bedelia. On the floor, said her mother. The house has hardwood floors, said Jill. It sure does, said Amelia Bedelia. The floors are really hard. Okay. Amelia Bedelia had an idea. While her parents toured the house, she would hunt for the horses. Where is the backyard? Asked Amelia Bedelia. Go through the mud room, said Jill, pointing to the door. There. there she is with the chicken. This was, there wasn't any mud in the mud room. Just places to store coats and boots. Amelia Bedelia opened the back door. She could see the Tudor and the Tudor and the Colonial. She could see two dogs in a garden. Where were the horses hiding? Come take a look downstairs, said Jill. This house has a full basement. Our basement was full once, said Amelia Bedelia. It flooded when a pipe broke. This basement is finished, said Jill. So was ours, said Amelia Bedelia. There is a huge wreck room, said Jill. Our whole basement was wrecked, said Amelia Bedelia. See him cleaning up her basement? Mm -hmm. Amelia Bedelia's parents came downstairs. Ah, here you are, said Amelia Bedelia's father. What a great recreation room, said Amelia Bedelia's mother. Lots of space for fun and games, said Amelia Bedelia. Thanks for stopping by, said Jill. Now that I know what you want, I'll keep my ear to the ground. Ear to the ground. Amelia Bedelia's stomach growled. Jill must have heard it. Her father did. Lunchtime, said Amelia Bedelia's father. I'm so hungry, I could eat a horse. Then let's go, said Amelia Bedelia. You won't find a horse at this ranch. Amelia Bedelia is always full of something, isn't she? Uh-huh. So have you ever gone to a house and had the questions like she did and the answers? Did it have a mud room with no mud? A ranch with no animals? 
No horses? Tell me about it in your comments. I hope you enjoyed Amelia Bedelia's. If you did, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Make sure you've subscribed so I have some friends out there in Cindy's Corner. Have a great day.